Tonight all new at six, we are previewing the race for North Carolina's 11th congressional district. Right now that seat is held by Representative Madison Cawthorn. He lost in the Republican primary. Our Taggart Houck is in studio to break down that race for us. Tag. Carol and Nigel, the race features candidates with experience in politics, one at the local level, the other at the state level. Each of them say the increase in cost of goods and the state of the economy is their biggest priority. Republican Chuck Edwards and Democrat Jasmine Beach Ferrara are squaring off for North Carolina's 11th Congressional District. The district encompasses most of western North Carolina. Edwards beat Congressman Madison Cawthorn in the Republican primary. Whether you're Democrat, whether you're Republican, whether you're Libertarian, whether you're unaffiliated, uh, all of us, every family in western North Carolina is suffering under the current economic plan. Edwards is a business owner and North Carolina State Senator. He serves on 18 committees and chairs eight of them. He says his main focus is on the economy. The blueprint is, is really quite simple. It is to exercise core economic principles, uh, just, just like we do in business. We've got to, to, to roll spending back. Uh, we've got to allow Americans to keep more of their hard-earned money and we've got to unleash American energy. Beach Ferrara, a Buncombe County Commissioner, is an ordained minister and an advocate for LGBTQ equality. People are also sick and tired of the politics of division and extremism, and I'm running to offer a very clear contrast to that, which is a politics based on how we move forward together. She says she wants to represent the entire district, something she says wasn't the case before, and is focused on providing relief for families. People need immediate relief. Uh, and I'm someone who will show up on day one ready to work for the kinds of things that reduce prescription drug costs, that revive the child tax credit, um, for giving student loans for nurses and teachers so they don't have to take on a second job. Election Day is Tuesday, November 8th. We will continue to preview local races on air and online. Nine